thank you so much for buying this course i promise you that at the end of this video you'll be able to set up your own prepaid ad accounts and not have issues whatsoever with instagram or facebook payments and sports you can also monetize this particular skill because i get a whole lot of money from this skill it's a big deal so stay tuned while i take you through the journey of creating your own prepaid ad accounts let's get started what you want to do is to log in into your facebook account and click on see all the nine dotted lines scroll scroll and for some people the menu may not be on the left side of the screen it could be at the right side of the screen just watch out for the menu icons then you look for ads manager there it is if you're just getting started it will ask you to accept a few terms and agreements you have to do so so because this is not a new account that's why it's not up let's go down here basically what prepared ad account is is the payment type that's what prepared ad account is but the problem is if you already have a postpaid ad account you cannot create a prepared account except you have to create a new ad account which is what i'm going to take you through right now what you want to do is to come to your business settings if you do not have a business account already you need to check your ad account there is no ad account so you we have to create an ad account so there's already a business account if there is no business account do not worry the system is going to ask you to set up a business account which is a very simple step right so what you want to do is to create an ad account click on add create a new ad account ad account name should be your business name if you have an agency it should be your agency name it should not be your personal name except if i mean it's you're a creator like me and you have your name as your business name so what i'm going to do is to put in the ad account name whatever name you decide to use really doesn't matter but make sure that you choose your time as lagos time if you're in nigeria choose africa lagos do not choose US dollar, always choose Nigerian Naira. It's really important. It's going to save you a whole lot of stress. Click on next. Okay, then it asks you what this ad account will be used for what? It's for your business. So just click for my business. Correct. Now the ad account has been set. What you want to do is then connect your page. Click on pages. This page is already connected, okay? But if your page is not connected, what you want to do is click on add, click on add a page. You enter the page name, right? Then you can go ahead and add the page, right? So because you don't have access to this page, that's why it's showing this, but ensure that it's the page is for you, for you to be able to do this. What you want to do next is to then check out your Instagram account and log in. And you input your password sometimes there could be a glitch like this but there is no cause for alarm it can just give it some time then you come back to the ad account like i said do not fret if your instagram account says your password is incorrect or you can't connect it's not a big deal the next thing we want to do is really really important you need to pay attention to this right so you want to create your billing settings now it tells you to set up your account simply add your first payment method and billing details this is very very important you need to pay attention click on get started 
enter the information. So because your business account already has this information on era as well as a time zone, you don't need to do this. So you click on next. Now, this is really important. Do not ever choose debit or credit card. This is the part where we separate the shaft from the real deal. So the shaft is the debit and the credit card. Why the real deal is the Naira payments with MasterCard, Visa, PayU. That is what a prepaid hard account is. The former one, which is debit or credit card, is a postpaid hard account that the CBN has given us the rule not to use more than $20 every month. So you click on next. Click on skip. You enter payment. So for this particular video, you're just going to enter 15 Naira. Know that you can enter as much money as you want. Know that. Okay. As much money as you want. Next. Now, I have an advice for prepared ad accounts. Do not say, okay, you want to run an ad of 1 million Naira for a month and you add all the 1 million Naira. Now, there's a sad news now. If your ad account gets disabled or restricted because of one reason or the other, you will not have access to that account again and your money is gone. They won't refund you. Do not ever put more than what you need. Let's say you want to roll your ad for one month and you want to spend one million naira or less. Do not add all the money. Add a few. Maybe you can have like a hundred k or even fifty k. Just add the money. You know you can always let go if anything happens, right? So you enter your card details for this particular payment method. You can use Visa card, Mastercard, as well as Ver very easy to use so you have to enter your card details another thing you want to do is to ensure that the number you use in receiving OTP should be readily available if it is not available there could be a problem the system could feel that you're using someone else's card that you don't have permission to use so you have to ensure that if you're using if you have if you use your email address to receive OTP, you need to ensure that the email address is ready. If you use the phone number, you ensure that it is ready. You need an OTP to approve this payment. You're done entering your payment information. You click on pay. Now, ensure that you have a great internet. Do not let it be interrupted. It is really, really important. hope you're taking note of this information because these are the things you would need to be conscious of while you're creating the prepared ad account. Get your OTP, wait for it. Sometimes it takes a while, sometimes you get it immediately, depending on your bank network or even your network provider. When you're done imputing your OTP, you can click on confirm. Great, your transaction was successful. Once the payment goes through, you have, you can then go back to your ad account. It shows 15 Naira added to your prepaid balance. You see, you have your prepaid account. Now, you see this. What you want to then do next is go to your hat manager. Does your business focus on politics on advocating for issues no except if it does then what you want to click on is go to account overview we need to confirm a few things okay great this you confirm your page email confirm payment method confirm facebook page confirm and it tells you publish a new campaign then you can create it's as simple as that now this is not the final step one more step you need to take using your mobile phone, especially if you want to use the prepared ad account for an Instagram account. In a few seconds, I'll be right back and I will show you how you can connect your Instagram account to your prepared ad account. 
welcome back this is the second part of the prepared ad account setup what you want to do is to ensure that you log in into your instagram account the one you want to connect to the ad account you just created and you ensure that your you are also currently logged into the same facebook accounts it's really really important the next thing you want to do is to click on menu click on settings click on add payment for some of you you may not have add payments as option you may have business if you have business click on business and click on add payment afterwards but for this one there is add payment so click on add payment add new payment method with a facebook account see why your facebook account needs to be logged on on your phone for you to be able to achieve this automatically it comes up so what you want to do is to Click on the ad account you created. Viola, it's as simple as that. You can also add payments by clicking on add funds. Click on pay you. It's very, very important. In no circumstances, even when the pay you has some glitches going on, do not ever click on debit or credit card. Do not ever do so. Okay. Then you click on next. You click on next and it's as simple as that for some people they may not have the facebook account pop up where it tells them to add a new payment with facebook you may need to come to account center when you have issues like that just come to account center and ensure that you just add it so for this particular account it's already in account center for this user okay if not it will ask you to add an account and then you can then go ahead and do the process again by clicking on add payments and click on choose facebook for new payment method i hope you found this video useful please feel free to reach me at temitokbe at gmail.com if you have any questions there's also a whatsapp support group if you want to join let me know send me a message on 0092862095 on whatsapp and you'll be added to the whatsapp group thank you very much don't forget to check my other trainees and also check out our youtube channel at the sugar growth for more tutorials thank you